and congratulations on your new role so would you like to introduce yourself to us first hey hi dishnu uh, thank you for giving me an opportunity to come to your channel and sharing my experience to get into swiggy so yeah so as you know my name is harsh and i am working for swiggy as a software development engineer too uh, i am working at the food marketplace the food that you order Uh, there are three verticals in swiggy food marketplace instamart and dineout so i am the one working in food marketplace that's great thank you for introducing yourself and uh, you cannot tell us about the whole process like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of yeah so i re- i got recently interviewed for the software development engineer to position at swiggy and for sg2 they have four rounds okay. so first is a telephonic round in which they ask like uh, do you, are you available for interview or something like that they ask basic questions on java because they work in java only okay. java and go lang yeah mm-hmm. and then there was a online test given to me uh on hacker rank okay. so it consisted of three problems one was easy one medium and one hard okay so i was i was able to solve easy and medium but hard only the partial test case was passing in that okay. not all the test case pass so yeah then also like still i got a interview round like i i was sent a link to be interviewed mm-hmm. in person yeah so the second round the third round basically it consisted of technical interview so in that they gave me two problems within a span of one hour i need to solve those two so first problem was a medium level problem from deep code and the second problem was a hard level problem from the same deep code okay the first problem was arithmetic subsequences if you want i can share with you the questions as it is mm-hmm. and the answer that i that i gave sure sure so the f- first problem was the arithmetic subsequences in which they gave me an integer array names and my task was to return the number of all arithmetic subsequences in that array okay. and i was able to solve it within 20 to 25 minutes i started with the brute force approach and then they and then i used a dynamic programming to uh, okay. solve that problem and they were pretty uh, like they unko lag gaya tha ki ha theek hai okay. like they were pretty confident on me hmm. on the first approach hmm. and the second problem was uh, it is a maximum area of island problem so i am given a 2d matrix in which there are zeros and ones hmm. and i need to find the maximum area covered by ones interconnected like okay zero you can consider it as water and mm. once you can consider it as land mm. so i need to form the largest island that can be formed out of those zeros and ones uh ones should be interconnected okay yeah. okay so yeah so it was a m cross n grid and as i told you so i implemented the dfs in that and mm. it was all solved but this uh this round uh like this question i was not able to solve completely but they only gave me a hint and then the output came so okay. all the questions that they ask in technical interview they don't have a pair programming kind of thing on mm-hmm. hacker rank or it code they mm-hmm. just send the question on a gmail account the mm-hmm. personal gmail account and mm-hmm. they ask us to solve it on any of the online code editor okay like okay. at least i went through this mm-hmm. okay then after 3 days i got the third or fourth you can say first was a telephonic round mm. i'm not considering it yeah mm. so fourth round was a system design round in mm. which they asked me hld and lld within a span of one hour okay. and they asked me to design a split wise application mm. for hld and lld okay so hld i was able to quickly wrap it wrap it up because it was a high level design and they asked me what how will the data flow be in mm. split wise what db will i use mm. and something like that mm. and in lld they asked me uh, like it was a code pair kind of thing on hacker rank okay. so they gave me a coding platform on hacker rank and they asked me to write the classes in object and if i can implement any inheritance or something kind okay. of that to mm. reuse the code mm. yeah so uh, i got a second between but interviewer helped me out over there as well and i was able to made it through okay, okay. the fourth 
and the final round was the managerial round hmm. so in managerial round they asked me the behavioral question like how would you deal with a teammate as sg2 how would you mentor sg1 or associate hmm. sg in the company okay. hmm. and then they asked me one more adult question and they asked me to design swiggy okay on a scale like they have they prefer designing a scaled application hmm. not for 1000 or 2000 people for the whole country as in hmm. because swiggy is present all over the country hmm. so they asked me to move ahead with one person using swiggy at the earliest and then scale it up to the whole country using it hmm. how would you scale that which db would you use hmm. what Uh, the SRE side of it also, okay. like okay. how would you protect the password from being leaked? How would you integrate the payment over there and everything? Okay. And it went on for one and a half hour. Hmm. And then after ten days, I got my offer letter. Okay. Okay. That's great. Congratulations and thank you for sharing your experience with us. Um. Do you have any suggestions for people who are trying to get into Swiggy or similar companies? Uh, anything that you learned based on your experience? Yeah. So, yeah. So uh, I'll talk about my transition first. Hmm. So from uh, like in the college, I got a campus placement in a company known as NCR Corporation, hmm. and it is a well-established company in USA, and it is a product-based company as well. Right. Uh, also. the work pressure over there was not is not that much mm. okay because mm. it is a established company mm. and there is no rush of doing work right over there mm. okay because as we know mm. but on the other hand swiggy has a startup culture as mm. of now as well it went for ipo last year but mm. now also it has a rush of doing things mm. uh the work life pressure is fine over there in mm. swiggy mm. but we need to deliver mm. in short span of time right okay so to uh, to learn that mm. i had to go through a rigorous process of dsa mm. because in ncr i didn't touch dsa after college after right. getting into ncr right so i prepared for around 3 months Hmm. it may vary depending on person to person hmm. some person can prepare in one month in 15 hmm. days hmm. so i prepared on uh, for around 3 months hmm. to get to wrap up dsa hmm. and hld and ld came as a surprise i till then i thought that only dsa will work hmm. and there will be nothing like hld or ld or system design or machine coding kind hmm. of thing but hmm. while going through the interview experiences of other candidates hmm. got into swiggy Hmm. it was hld and ld which was being asked and they were actually looking into it okay. they were not they were not worried about dsa hmm. because that we can learn but hld and ld is something that we need to answer on the spot there hmm. is no fixed criteria of that ki ha abhi ye aa gaya question 2 plus 2 to 4 ho jayega aisa nahi hota wahan pe wahan pe for there it is right you have to scale it Mm. to the country level mm. so how will you plan for hld initially itself mm. like the, there is one project that i am working on in swiggy right now and mm. they are worried they are not worried about the coding they are worried about how it will be scaled up in future if it is a success right right yeah so that is something that we should learn mm. and for someone who is planning to get into swiggy just do like what i did i did Three questions of lead code daily, hmm. and machine coding and everything. I prepared it in three to four weeks. Okay. Like one month I took for that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So someone who is trying to get into Swiggy, uh, firstly be prepared. It is a startup culture over there, hmm. so you will have to deliver quickly. Hmm. It will not be like you said and no one asks you how. Like how are you doing it? Hmm. Everyone will ask you after a set. Like no one will disturb you over here every day. Micro management kind of thing is not over here. Hmm. But after a certain time, if you are not able to provide with the code or with the deliverables that you promised for, hmm. they will ask you like, hmm. how far have you got ahead with your work or something like that. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yes. So it is like that. Yeah. 
Okay, that's great. Thank you so much for sharing your experience and for the suggestions. I'm sure it's going to help many people. And yeah, thank you for doing this. Thank you. And I would like to congratulate you for going to Masters <laughs> and seeing you. Yes. So I got to know that by your LinkedIn post. Yeah. Yes. So congratulations yes. for that. Thank also. you. Thank you so much. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please do like, share and subscribe. And thank you.